hello everyone uh, welcome to simplefinancesupport.com uh, today i would like to show you the system how it is changed uh, from previous version to s4 hana version so first and foremost thing is to check whether this particular system is s4 hana version or not so what you need to do is that you go to systems and click on the status so when you click on the status you will see you know many many things uh, you know apart in part of the many things that you what you see here is that HDB uh, database which is a database system right which is HANA, HANA database and if you click on here so and go to uh, production product version so simply install the product version you see here uh, S4 HANA on premise uh, which is 1511 SAP so 1511 is the latest version that uh, SAP had released um, at this point of time so that's what the version is so with this uh, you can see you know pretty much uh, whether you know S4 HANA is installed or not and another thing uh, that you can you know quickly check is that couple of uh, basic uh, func basic tables it has given you so you know instead of checking the tables if you are not a programmer or if you are not technical savvy and you are just an application um, you know the process owner for different modules right so simply what you can do is that if you are an accounting guy you can just go to accounting controlling and then look at uh, cost and uh, cost element accounting here okay so when you look at the cost element accounting uh, you can easily see that cost element creation transactions which used to be there all disappeared okay so what is appearing right now if you see fs00 which is edit cost element right so fs00 is very similar familiar transaction that you used to work on which is basically if you go here in the financial accounting section the general ledger and accounts you know master data basically if you go to the master data and general ledger accounts you see here fs00 which are typical transaction creating um, GL account at the chart of account level, company code level and central level. So which means uh, with this what you can understand is that you don't require to create cost elements separately. Okay. So let's look at uh, one of the cost element that is created and um, let me show you how the things are changed in the uh, cost account. So here let me let me take the cost account that I have been working on here so let's say let me search for one account which uh, so again you know the reason I am doing here is that you know nothing changes uh, similar functionality uh, and uh, you know that is what I want to show you uh, employee employee expense employee expense list. let me just check you know here this is the one account employer expenses that are there okay so I kind of posted some uh, you know, one entry and uh, just to this account so that you know I just wanted to take you through that uh, so here uh, this account uh, pretty much if you see here control in the chart of accounts so one field is added here if you carefully observe to tell you uh, tell the system basically what kind of accounting transaction I mean, account GL account is there you, know, you see here whether it is a balance sheet account primary cost element or revenue account secondary cost element or non operating expense or income okay so uh, so these are the types of gl accounts which are there primarily so balance sheet uh, pindle used to be there now it's no more uh, balance sheet and to uh, pindle balance sheet and pindle are divided into non operating expense or income primary cost and revenues and secondary cost okay so the secondary cost particularly comes from the CO module so the tight integration is happening right now here so where do you specify that you know the type of GL uh, GL account which is a primary cost element or secondary cost element so here if you go into the control section again other things are same like you know description short long if you are having a consolidation and you know the trading partner all that uh, will be there as it is there is no difference on that so if you click on the controlling and again uh, very familiar uh, no no major changes uh, uh, same like counting currency account currency balances only in local currency tax category 
and uh, posting allowed uh, without allowed taxes and all that setups are there as it is so only one section which is appearing here if you see account settings in controlling area uh, so basically uh, I, I have a simple finance support.com uh, like controlling area that I have set up here so the cost element category you see here uh, pretty much it is one right so and another feature that you carefully observe for the GL account there was no time dependency earlier so now if you look at here on the top there is a time dependent attribute is coming up and there used to be a create cost element uh, you know small icon which is disappearing obviously you don't need that uh, when you're having uh, uh, the cost element created here itself right so that's that is the reason you don't need that and um, so when it comes to uh, again uh, other other you know fields field status variant and field status group same thing you know you double click on there go to you know different elements pretty similar no changes as far as this is concerned and then um, you know go back to other elements like keyword translation no difference it used to be the same okay so uh, this is the way uh, a GL account changes in the context of um, simple uh, finance or s4 hana version right so which means uh, the tightly integrated now anything that you you know post to the GL account is you know integrated uh, to your controlling module also okay so now let's look at um, so you know one of the accounting document that I posted uh, and you know see here you know what are the things which are changing so surprisingly one thing I observed here uh, if you go to again SAP will correct that uh, I'm sure that you know SAP is also in the process of evolution um, if you see here cost element accounting is there con cost center accounting is there okay so the master data obviously you expect uh, uh, master data transactions like cost element of course we don't need the cost element uh, you know, master data because already it is integrated with the FI but cost element group you know exist as it is and if you go into cost centers you know probably you will expect that cost center transactions here um, you know ks01 k02 03 and 04 they disappeared so looks like sap forgotten uh, to include that you know a simple search uh, you know gives me where is that ks01 exist so if i click on that surprisingly ks01 is existing somewhere somewhere you know all the way if you go into uh, i think some joint venture accounting or somewhere else it is you know appearing let me let me just put ks01 so if i search that k01 it is appearing in somewhere in uh, yeah it's not showing right now here but um, yeah earlier uh, it brought me to uh, one of the i think maybe i need to search for another one another place because here in the favorites i added because it was not there so i just you know added forcefully and also the oke on like you know uh, the standard hierarchy maintenance transaction is disappeared so i think sap will correct them uh, in uh, near future as uh, they are adjusting the system for the new setup so you know, and if you go further uh, to uh, like you know look into the other things like so before going into other uh, you know a deep dive into the different systems and all that um, I would like to say that you know pretty much uh, those who worked in SAP for a long time uh, realize that not many changes are made uh, yeah technical changes are made huge um, you know technical aspects uh, I mean P SAP says that you know simplified obviously you know that a lot of transactions are removed it is simplification uh, but at the same time uh, you know the people who are familiar with the SAP setup for a long time are very very you know easy to adapt uh, the new new system and also there's a lot of emphasis on the external system where you know when you access you know you have apps uh, fury apps and all that but again the basic business process uh, is uh, you know set up with uh, uh, the sap easy access menu itself okay so let's look at uh, one of the document that i posted uh, so fb03 uh, already posted this document so and uh, if you see the document here pretty much the same way that you have you know no difference display currencies whatever the currencies that you can have you know they are appearing here so like if you double click on that uh, similar no changes uh, you know on the on, on the front end 
and head, header level again no changes um, the reference key I think it's you know becoming a little bit bigger I guess um, and other things are as they are right and um, so there are some fields are added here sender document sender company and CO document number I think they are used in uh, uh, allocations so again when we do the allocations uh, I will show them um, for your in uh, you know like uh, for your understanding so one of the uh, key feature um, you know if you see right so you know the the document which is stored is in the universal journal table right so let me go to the universal journal table se 11 and if you put like ac doca table and then you know display here so this is like 340 fields are appearing here and um, yeah pretty much if you carefully observe you know all the line items uh, i mean you know all the all the columns which are relevant to um, many many other fields right so for example you have you know the includes like it is including many many other fields here so for example universal journal transaction currencies and units is one include here you know i think you carefully observe this is the include those who are technically you know i mean well versed uh, so the includes are the tables within the table basically and if you see another include which is uh, universal journal gl additional account assignments like all the account assignments like cost center profit center functional area business area controlling area everything will be you know knit together uh, into this particular include and if you go further there is a include for value fields so those who are familiar with the copa module profitability analysis module they can immediately see that you know how the value fields are appearing here right so and uh, you know later part of the you know discussion i'll create some value fields and show you you know how they are appended here okay and then now uh, if you go further you know universal journal mandatory fields for uh, general ledger right so for example debit credit indicator is a mandatory for the line items posting period fiscal year variant and so on the so the, the dates and all that right so these are the mandatory fields which are appearing and then there is a include for uh, sub ledgers several sub ledgers and um, you know fi fi sub ledgers here another include so and another include is there you see that you know financial account fields for the account asset accounting which means the data which is related to the asset accounting will be posted into this table itself you know you don't don't require another table for uh, you know posting and then uh, fields for material ledger you see that uh, the integration i talked about the material ledger is tightly integrated into the finance itself right and also you go to the uh, universal journal like central finance again this is just a, a new concept uh, they introduced uh, and if you are using a SaaS based solution you can integrate everything into the central finance module and then uh, universal journal co fields you know this is the one like you know all the coep table removed and you know kept here pretty much all the fields related to co are appended here into this uh, universal journal uh, table and then uh, you know so many fields right so and then if you go into further copa fields you see that copa fields are inserted into into the acdoca table itself so which means all the characteristics that you see here right pretty much are are here and then if we create new characteristics uh, in in copa module with the uh, enterprise hierarchy setup so you know this particular field will be added so i will do that uh, one example and i'll show you guys on this and uh, the copa module uh, setup and then uh, of course you know others other fields like uh, if you are using public sector and uh, joint venture and so on so forth okay so a uh, pretty detailed number of fields added and let's look at uh, how the data is posted for the uh, the company simplefinancesupport.com sfs uh, company so if you see only one document i posted just to you know show you the um, you know the details like it the key fields for the acdoca table are very very straightforward you have the document number line item fiscal year right and then you have company code and the ledger right within the ledger within one you know one document is a unique document right so so the two you know like line item itself is part of your key so just like combination of your you know, bkpf and b bsec table kind of thing so then you know once you double click on that you know all the attributes which are there you see that coin is a you know co transaction 
whereas RFBU is a kind of a finance transaction. So BKPF is a procedure, you know, the table procedure. So pretty much like detail, uh, enough like cost center, for example, profit center, everything is added here. So so like that, you know, it's an exhaustive list of you know fields which are added here. So this is the way your um, COPA fields and other fields are you know appearing automatically into the ACDO CA table. Again, ACDO CA table data can be uh, exported into your um, you know the front end. Uh, right now, there is no uh, interface I haven't seen uh, yet in the back end. This is a, this is a kind of a back end uh, if you really think of, and uh, you know the front end will be coming right. So. Front end is basically your theory apps and all that uh, kind of thing. So I will explain that uh, in a different uh, session. But you know these are the key uh, features around financial accounting, uh, GL account changes, and AC AC DOCA table. And how did I post? You know the regular transaction. Uh, I posted let's say F dash zero two. You can just use the F dash zero two the same way that you have, right? You can just post. See, there is a big uh, field is given for uh, exchange rates. Probably SAP is catering to one basic requirement that number of digits for exchange rates. I think enormously increased there, right? So, and you know, test here you can give the test and test here, and then same way you know, all other fields, like for example, you know, let me give here uh, you know, the same account, right? You see, there is no change. I'm giving $300. Again, profitable segment. If you have, you know, they will come. Otherwise, they don't, right? So, if you are using cost center, obviously, you don't expect the profitability segment to, um, you know, populate it. Otherwise, the cost center posting will be, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, will become what you call, uh, you know, like again, if you see that, you know, COPA transfer structure is not maintained. So, basically, you know, the same functionality wise, there is nothing, you know, new about that. Um, so I'm just not giving. So the profit center is derived from your cost center, which is the old functionality. I mean, there is nothing new about it, right? So and then uh, if you go into your uh, account, like let me just take the bank account itself. So it's easier. So just again, star functionality works. And uh, I'm not giving the profit center here as per the document split functionality. It's deriving from the other line. So I think that is also pretty standard functionality and if you go ahead and you know use uh, uh, this particular posting so it's like $300 is posted so now the moment I post internally it will be posting to uh, local ledger uh, global ledger and also all the all the entries right if I go into SE16N same way ACDOCA table entries so number of entries now it would become let's say I don't know why it's like 1.3 right so it's like it's giving uh, so a lot of a lot of entries are there right so let me give that com company code here SFS and then uh, the entries are pretty much six eight entries will be there because remember earlier I posted one and I just wanted to show you how the other entry gets posted okay hopefully you enjoyed this uh, discussion and uh, on the simple finance support um, you know dot com please visit there and you know you will get more free videos and uh, you know you can you can easily learn a lot of uh, simple finance uh, dynamics which are changing okay so again there is a lot of discussion around the market that there are so many technical talks are being worked out but as a functional guy you don't require to worry you know the functionality exists as it is just uh, you know flavors are changing from the display perspective only thanks for uh, watching and uh, see you soon